Alrighty, here we go. This is episode 323. We are going on one. Three, two, one. <laughs> you must have had some kind of sensory jutsu, right? That's how he knew where, the, where they were. I thought maybe they attacked him. Some kind of mental attack in a moment, but it turned out he was probably just sensing them, you know. Shit, that's not even the most of it. The most of it is that goddamn moon he pulled down on you. I see. Hey, man, this is a good deal. Now we're talking. <laughs> oh shit I don't know I mean the trees just seem anticlimactic after he drops a moon on you is what I was trying to say earlier right yeah <laughs> interesting all of a sudden he's taking a power up because that uh, beast is like F you Yeah. Look at them clothes disappearing. That's how it works, right? Usually. Shit. Wait a minute. That, that has some implications we'll have to think about during the credit song. You know, okay, what I was talking about. His clone made a deal with the Nine Tails Beast. Would you authorize your clones? Would you trust your clones? Like, I guess it's yourself. It's no different than you. You know, I mean, his clone made a deal with the Nine Tails Beast. I assume the Nine Tails Beast is in a central location in some kind of other pocket dimension or something, right? And every cloning and in the original can all access the same creature. I don't know if the creature's necessarily cloned. Like, it's inside each body, right? Like, this is really getting in the weeds. But I'm assuming that there's, there's only one beast. There's not a separate beast inside each clone. Okay. He's in, like, a pocket dimension. He's not... I don't think he's literally inside Naruto's body. I think Naruto's body is a window through which he can access the world, Right? The only window. That's the only way you can go get access the world. Everybody else, like the other people that had some of his chakra, they had just had some of his chakra. Well, no, they had consumed part of him, right? So, like, a little piece of him was in was in them so they could generate more of his chakra, I guess. But that aside, like, you're, you're saying one of your clones allowed was able to make this deal with the Nine Tails behind your back, essentially. Like, you're over here. And he's sitting there making a side deal you're not even aware of, and you won't be aware of until that clone comes back to you. I don't like that. You're like, yes, I trust myself, but I still want to know what's going on, right? I don't know, man. Like, uh, there's implications there I don't like. <laughs> well, what else are we supposed to do? We either retreat or somebody fights him. Those are the only two options. Huh. 
Well, it's kind of bullshit that this uh, old man's still alive, by the way. He dropped a moon on his head and he's still alive. I like, you know, that's stretching credulity, credulity a little bit. <laughs> on your knees. <laughs> so that's the young one, huh? <laughs> yep. He's still pissed. <laughs> yep. That's the theme of the series. War is hell. He was talking shit back in the day. So, this he was only about 80 years ago then, if that this old man was that young, right? Maybe less, 60 years. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool war. I think so. I think that's probably true in the real world. <laughs> I'm never getting on my knees again. That ah, shit. <laughs> that is, yes, that is true. <laughs> he likes this dance thing, doesn't he? Shall we dance? <laughs> Don't explain your shit. Just come on. <laughs> oh, shit. You ain't that. She's the only one wearing a business... Uh, Sensible skirt there. <laughs> Shut up, slug. <laughs> bringing up my gambling debts, huh? Yeah, I don't think it is different. If you suck at betting, you suck at betting. <laughs> and quit arguing. <laughs> Look, man, we need minions who follow orders. Yep. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, you're getting wrecked by one plant? 
Of course, he's the main. He's the real one, right? He's the main one. Yep, slice and dice there, bro. Yep, that's what all the ladies say. <laughs> Woe is me, I guess. <laughs> we need more of that don't interrupt me shit. What did I just effing say? My God, these people, man. There's no military discipline. My dad would be losing his shit, man. You have to have military discipline, man. You have to. They drum it into you in, in boot camp. No soldier would ever consider speaking while his boss is speaking. It would never happen, man. Unless it's like somebody's coming out with a knife or something behind his back. <laughs> no, no, you're not. You heard the way he said that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They love the titles, don't they? Chujiro. That's how we pronounce that name? I like this kid. I'm going to get even closer. <laughs> Why would he even say that? I apologize for how close I'm rubbing up against you. <laughs> Here we go. What's up? Kick him in the teeth. That's right, bitch. <laughs> They've entered the theater of combat. You goddamn right. Finally get to watch her work, by the way. Yeah, I shit myself, but other than that. <laughs> Yeah, she's repairing the damage to her, right, from the travel? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I've been saying. Yeah, so she had gotten messed up with that travel, I see. <laughs> I would think so. Aha! That's what they're doing. This wasn't a coincidence. This is on message. Trying to make me think this happened actually. No, th this is on purpose, man. It's the five of them. It wasn't four of them. It wasn't three of them. It was all five. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's right. Not a lava monster. The floor is lava. You've been training for this your whole life as kids. As kids, the floor was lava many times. Just say it. Yeah, he also can take a punch. <laughs> can he take some lava, though? Why is the lava yellow? I don't understand. Have you ever seen yellow lava before? Yeah, <laughs> a bolt of pain. But all your bolts cause pain. So this is like super pain, right? Yeah, it should be spit that lava, boy. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, you should probably be leaving. I mean, they need to be places where there's uh, the white Zetsu, right? They can take out white Zetsu. Oh, okay. I, was gonna, I thought he was going to say, let's go get some weights. That's it, right? Because that, that they can handle. They can't handle this guy. He was doing a little bit of a zombie walk there. You see that?
Good shit. Oh, that's why you're asking. You didn't care about her. You were asking her because you wanted to heal. <laughs> right. Interesting. Now you got to take these these people out. Boy, I about said a word that would really get me demonetized. Worse than the F bomb. It started with the C, in case you were curious. They got me ready to cuss, boy. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking shit, boy. You're saying he's an asshole is what you're saying. What are you? What is it, Barry Allen? Yeah, Barry Allen. Faster, Barry, faster. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Yeah, I don't think you really are impressive. You sound like a smart ass right now. Look at him working together, man. Get his ass. I don't. I don't believe it's gonna last, but I do like his sand pyramid. Yeah, you know. I mean, that was to be expected. He likes those energy blades, don't he? So she does have more than just a lava attack. That's interesting. <laughs> that would make sense, right? Yeah, we're out of here. So he's basically puppeting this guy the whole time, right? Like, he hasn't relinquished control this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Kick his ass. Go into orbit. Speaking of orbit, he sent that son bitch into space, man. <laughs> right in the gut. You didn't need your backbone, did you? you? Melt away his little magic armor. Get wrecked. <laughs> He's still, Naruto's still trying to make it about himself. Why don't you grab several chairs and shut the hell up? <laughs> Even old people can change, see? See? We're getting homogenized. We'll lose our unique flavor. <laughs> it's not just on you. Right. I don't trust it. Yeah. 
get him out of here. Then we got to get take care of Kab Kabuto. <laughs> we got to beg you to leave us. Oh, shit. You're going to do this shit, huh? <laughs> you mother effers. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. He's out of here. All that knowledge goes back. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's still going to be two of them, right? Here we go. Well, two of them against, what, six? Seven? So soon? I don't know why. I didn't expect it to, like, you know, now they may not show this fight, but, like, the fight's actually, the battle's been joined. I wasn't expecting that to happen this soon. Interesting. One minor nitpick here. In you know, I don't think it's anything against the show. I wish they hadn't said, now, by the way, here's all five leaders of the five villages have been fighting, spent all this time fighting each other, and they're all working together. You know, it, it was so on the nose. Here's the thing about that. If they hadn't said it, I wouldn't have realized that's what they were doing. So it was necessary for me. And it was necessary for the target audience, which is 12 and 13, 14-year-olds. I don't know that 12 and 13, 14-year-olds would have picked up on this either. You know, but what you could have done was... Finish, don't have that line in there. Just show the five of them standing and, they, and they're attacking. And, you know, the, the, everything else is exactly the same. You take out that one line of dialogue. Do everything else the same. And by the time you get to the end of the episode, when they're showing the five of them, they're talking to him and they're saying, let us handle this. And, you know, this is the first time we've ever worked together. I think it would slowly dawn on me and probably on everybody else, too, that that's what they were doing. Like, it was a great moment when they just announced it. You know, they, hey, by the way, let's put a huge brand on here. This is what we're doing, right? It was a great moment when they announced it because, like I, like I said, I don't, I would not have picked up on it. But I think it would have been even better if I, I'd come to the realization on my own. That's why they prefer subtlety in writing. You know, traditional writing geared to, you know, 18 to 25, 18, 34 year olds. You know, older people who are uh, intelligent enough and sophisticated, most importantly, sophisticated enough. Because you just don't have sophistication at 12, 13. But they're sophisticated enough to pick up on the nuance and the little clues and you figure out, oh, oh, this is what they're doing. Oh, shit. He's drinking the same drink as his father, who he hates. Every time he does something bad, like his father, he drinks the same drink his father drinks. You never announce something like that. You just do it. And most of the audience will pick up on it. That's the only time he breaks out that scotch. The same scotch his father drank, right? You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of shit. So... That would have been good, but, like, I totally understand why they did it, because, like I said, even I needed it. Like, I wouldn't have picked up on it. I probably would have figured it out by the end of the episode when they showed the five of them, when they did the individual faces. It would have, it, I would have realized what they were doing. But, I can't, like I said, I can't knock them for it because their target demo is 12 to 14 or whatever, you know. So, you kind of do have to be on the nose with that audience. But that aside, like I said, it's a minor nitpick. <laughs> what a great moment. I love how they staged it. I didn't even realize when they were setting it up. You already had three of them there. Or, yeah, you had, uh, you had three, of the, three of them there. and then, No, uh, you had two of them there. And then two came from another location and a third came from a different location. So, yeah, you had two of them there. And you brought the other three. And you're just, and while they're doing that, you're thinking, well, these are very strong fighters. It makes sense you'd bring strong fighters. You're not thinking about their other job, which is the leader, right? So I love how they staged it. Like, it, it, it was organic. It was very organically done. But, like, you know, what it represents is so much more than just it being organically done. It, was, it didn't feel forced. It was perfectly natural and organic that they did this. But then once they were all together, then you realize what this means for the bigger picture. Because you still have to live in the world after you defeat these enemies. And it's going to be a better world because you all work together. 